So very special episode today. We are here, Betsy and I are here on the Thames. And one of the best ways to have a walk around London actually is to have a bit of a, a structure or a goal in mind. Now, one of my favorite things, because I'm a geek, is to visit film and TV locations. So we thought we'd do a very special one today, a very famous TV series, which we're both fans of. Now, if you want to get here, we're on the South Bank. Uh, if you want to replicate this and follow some of these locations, how did we get here, Bets? We got here from Waterloo Station. Waterloo Station, you come out, Waterloo Station, head for the river, come down to the South Bank. So here we are now, from a sort of historical point of view, this is London's South Bank. Uh, this was all built after the war, so it's all this post-war brutalism sort of architecture. Not to everyone's taste, I quite like it. I wouldn't want it everywhere, but I like the sort of dystopian feel of it. I'm not, not sure you're fan. You're not keen, you're no. not keen. But I like it, and um, back in the 70s, this was considered futuristic. Mm. So some people will recognize do you know what episode of Doctor Who this is from? It was from a John Pertwee episode? It was. It was Spearhead from Space. Oh, thank you. Underneath the Hayward Art Gallery here, you've got this, what's basically evolved into and become a sort of skater park. Um, now, I'm not a skater boy at all. It's the last thing I would... I am not either. No, the last I'm thing I would girl. be involved in. However, several years ago, the Mayor of London at the time decided this was a waste of space, close it down, and build a shopping centre here. That would have been a waste of space. Well, yeah, I mean, so my view was, it's one of the few times in my life I've actually um, signed a petition because, um, you know, what London really needs is more shots. Right. I think, you know, I mean, it's, it's not, not only an iconic film and TV location and Doctor Who location, but also basically an icon of London, which is the yes. Palace of Westminster. Uh, so we're coming up to that, but more importantly, I suppose for Doctor Who fans, back in 2005, Doctor Who had been off the TV for so many years, do you remember? Uh, yes. And the first episode... Rose. Rose. Uh, Christopher Eccleston, Billy Piper landed on that side, just over there. And there's a scene where they're looking for the alien base and they realise it is here on the South Bank under the London Eye. Oh my God. Betsy's now threatening me with her own thing. Now she's got this thing called, we're calling it Betsy Cam. You, you might know, to be fair, whatever you think of our politicians, and I say this during an election period, so I'll be careful what I say, but, you know, it is a magnificent building. You've got the seat of government over there, but obviously you have local government. So this used to be the seat of the, what was called, I think, the Greater London Council. The, anyway, the council chamber still exists, and so they use it as a theatre space now. So I also think, I'm pretty sure, am I wrong? Right. Am I wrong, but is that not where Piers Brosnan goes down into MI6 base, the Q branch or something in, is it Die Another Day? One of the James Bond films. We're gonna go to St. John's Hospital where they film Smith and Jones. Indeed. I mean, it's St. Thomas's Hospital, but otherwise you're right. Oh, St. Thomas's. Anyway, well, we need to know. go down this little spooky tunnel here. So let's, let's do that. What um, Really, this is the, uh, the National Covid Memorial Wall outside St Thomas's. Didn't realise this was here. So yeah, here we are. This is St Thomas's Hospital, which is where Martha Jones was a medical student. Were you a medical series. student here too? Was I, was I a, what? Were you a medical student here too? No, 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 I was a medical student, but not here. I trained in, uh, up north, I trained in Leeds I, Hospital. I think they made it a lot taller too. Yeah, there was some CGI involved, yeah. but yeah. But anyway, but I this think this is, is where it, it was, where where it was, it was done. Filmed. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we're getting close to a couple of other locations, I think. We are, we are. Thames. Well, I mean, I think any, any part of the Thames is pretty much worth walking because it's it beautiful. Is. It is, it's amazing the things that you see, all different. You, you go from like the concrete here and then you get to the uh, really, I mean, you would think that you were out in a park or the forest when you keep walking down, the, uh, especially on the towpaths. Towpaths. It's a lovely walk, but um, we've got another couple of locations ahead of us, but um, at some point we're gonna to need to find a tavern of some sort, I think. I agree. Because if you're gonna walk, go walking around London, there's no point unless you find a tavern or two. And it's a three. warm day today. 
Yeah, well, not that we need an excuse. Right, exactly. That is Lambeth Palace, which happens to be the, uh, the home of the Archbishop of Canterbury. And the reason that's relevant is because just over here is Lambeth Pier. Again, people may recognise now as where the Doctor and Rose and Mickey Smith arrive in uh, Rise of the Cybermen, The Age of Steel. This is where the TARDIS lands, just here. And uh, you can see Mickey, uh, there's a shot of him and you can see this little pier. I Doctor don't know what that is, what is that? It's Doctor Who location. So, do you remember the invasion, Patrick Troughton, 1968? Yes. Something like that? Yes. Um, that was the headquarters of International Electromatics. Or whatever. So, Lambeth Bridge. Uh, not so mysterious tunnel this time, just under the bridge. If we walk this way. That's Vauxhall ahead of us. But I just love this building, actually. It's just caught my eye. London Fire Brigade headquarters. Anyway, I do spy a some kind of hostelry ahead of us, so let's do that, and then okay. we will take you on part two. It has a, this hint of chocolate to it. Right. The the bouquet and just the bouquet. The, does beer have a bouquet? It does. Oh right, okay. This tastes like a light bitter. Oh, never mind all that. I mean, let me try it. Oh, right. I like the hint of chocolate. I'm not sure I would have said chocolate, but um, cocoa. Oh yeah, no, it's great. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, it's it's there's Cocoa-y. a yeah yeah. We're gonna walk across there. We're heading towards Vauxhall. We're gonna go across the bridge. The bridge. We're gonna go and get the river taxi back down to Tower, where we have some more locations. Yes. Actually, the river taxi, cheap, cheerful. Put it on your Easter card, and we'll get you all around the city. Uh, or you're going to... So we're just wandering down Millbank now. So we're on the opposite side of the river. We're wandering back towards Westminster and towards Millbank Pier. But just over there is the famous Tate Gallery. So this is literally the International Electromatics factory from the invasion. Ah, right. Uh, this is where the Cybermen were sort of... Uh, I don't know. Well, they weren't created, were they? They were housed here, I think. Housed. Tobias Vaughan had his headquarters here. Genuine doctor is located. Best method of transport in London. Yes, I love riding on the boat. The boat is the best way to travel up and down the Thames by far. So this is London Bridge, and we're gonna wander along the Thames Pass here towards, there you go, Tower Bridge. Fantastic sight. And what's the Tower Bridge, Bets? I'm sorry? What's the Tower Bridge? Drops it who was. Tower Bridge? I don't know. Ooh, you do. Famous Doctor Who episode. Oh, so you've got a lot of these old riverside sort of warehouses, uh, yeah. old docks that, you know, the world has changed and trade has changed. Um, so a lot of these are now, uh, some of them are flats, but a lot of this is now retail spaces, restaurants, things like that. It's actually quite nice. Some of them are a bit soulless, I think, but this is, I agree. This is quite nice. So of course, just as we're about to walk further along the Thames, it's now absolutely teeming it down with rain. Uh, fine, well, I guess that's a good excuse for um, a little pit stop in, um, oh look, there happens to be a little pub here. Maybe time for a drink, Pets. Find a beer and uh, a little break. I think we've walked a long way today. We, we deserve a break, I think. Yes, definitely. And we've got a way to go yet. So uh, anyway, as long as the rain keeps going, we keep drinking. I'm sure it's not an entirely authentic London pub. Uh, in fact, it certainly isn't. But um, I bet you don't get places like this in Missouri, do you? You do not. Do not at all. You've lived, you've lived in London, I think, have you lived longer than me, I think. I've been here 10 years. 13 years. Yeah. And you've got British citizenship now. I do. So you're not intending to go back to the States, presumably. Absolutely not. So what is it about Britain that makes you want to stay here rather than go back to the States? What's, what's the draw for you? The acceptance of people. You know, I have a wife, and so yep. 
it's acceptable here, but in Missouri it probably wouldn't be as acceptable for some okay. people. Um, I feel really relaxed here. I don't have to drive a car and take the tunnel over to France and yeah. and here in Paris and oh France. I mean, I, yeah, I popped over last year. I mean, getting to France from London, getting to Paris is so easy. It is. Uh, it's 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 almost ridiculously easy. You just get on the train. Like you know, a, like an yeah. hour and a half yeah. or something like. That. And once you're in, once you're there, obviously you have Amsterdam, Brussels. Yeah. Right. So what would what would make you? move back to the states trump getting elected or <laughs> good god no <laughs> okay. Ooh, tower of london oh yes so there you go if we're talking about locations for doctor who tower of london that was what uh day of the doctor day, yes day of the doctor where with the ravens oh yes I remember yeah. that one. And then coming down here, we've got, of course, Tower Bridge. <laughs> down under the bridge. Here we are. <laughs> under the bridge. Now, this is the cafe I was telling you about earlier. It's fantastic oh, right. okay. because um, it's a bit packed now, but uh, yeah. it's, sometimes going there for lunch, if you're walking down here in London, you've got a fantastic view under the river there. Right. All stood down, old stairs, and you get this magnificent view on the river here. Is this going to be? Any Doctor Who fan who knows their stuff. Bet. So this, if you remember, Resurrection of the Daleks. Yes. That's the, that was the opening sequence, isn't it? But this is where, just here, with Tower Bridge in the background, that's where the TARDIS landed. And I reckon the Doctor, Tegan and Turlo come out of the police box oh, and they run just down here. here and they go down, I think they went down right. here. To that, to Shad Thames. Uh, things have changed a bit now. It's all, let's have a look. I mean, it's all now, I mean, wow all these modern apartments, which are really nice. And can you imagine living here, right by Tower Bridge, right by the Thames? Great. Fantastic place to live. However, there is a bit of me that thinks it's a shame that that sort of heritage is gone, but at least they preserve the buildings. They haven't demolished them, they've, they've converted. So we've only got so far today. There are more fantastic locations we want to show you along the Thames, but also in the rest of central London. But we're going to work on that one. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed the clips. hope it brought back some memories. But yeah, if you want to come and have a wander around London, uh, fantastic place to visit, very atmospheric. Visit some old familiar sites. Next time we're going to do a true crime walk around London. Uh, I've got something in mind, which uh, is something you don't know about. I don't. So I'm going to take you on a, a, an exploratory walk round of all places, Croydon. <laughs>